These archaeologists are looking for the childhood home of an American hero. We just came out of the field looking for the home of Ben Ross, who is Harriet Tubman's father. The Ross cabin is believed to be somewhere in the Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge on the eastern shore of Maryland. We have a crew of about a dozen people and we simply walk through and slog through this wetland with our rubber boots on, digging holes which are very, very wet, looking for any evidence of people who have lived there over 200 years ago. Harriet Tubman was born Araminta Ross. As a conductor on the Underground Railroad, she led dozens of enslaved people to freedom in the North. We know a little bit about Harriet Tubman, but we don't know that much about her family. Where did she come from? What was her life like there? What's it like to grow up in this sort of environment. And I can tell you right now, after excavating and walking through this very wet and isolated place of Maryland, that it is indeed the place where she was able to really hone her skills on how to navigate north to freedom using the Underground Railroad. She was able to figure out how to travel from one place to the other. And, and another Local thing, historian Herschel Johnson joined the search. It was swampy. But the thing about it is, I think if Harriet could come back, or Araminta uh, could come back, she would find the area just like she left it. Trying to find Ben Ross's cabin in the middle of this swamp land is like looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack. The question is, how do we know we're close? And we look for little puzzle pieces in the form of broken ceramics and glass bits and nails. It wasn't until the very, very end of the road where we were able to find a site that dates to the early 19th century. So this here is a piece of, uh, I think it's a probably pearlware, which archaeologists like to date this around uh, the early 1800s. Also along the road, we're finding things that are definitely telling us we're in the right time period. Here we have an 1808 50 cent piece. And this was amazing to find because it's in such good shape. So these little artifacts are breadcrumbs telling us that we're getting closer and closer. How we found where Ben Ross had lived? Not yet, but I think we're getting close. The search is temporarily on hold until warmer temperatures return. We've packed our shovels away and put our tools away, and we're gonna wait till the spring because we have enough information now to tell us that there's something interesting on this road. She's hoping the dig will shed new light on buried history. We just don't have a lot of African-American history in our, in our books because it's been hidden in a lot of ways. And while we have a lot of stories of other American history, the people who are enslaved, their history, their stories, it's in the soil, it's in the dirt. And that's what we're trying to do is trying to resurrect those stories and be able to share it with the public. Here in Dorchester County, I can't remember the first time I heard about Harriet Tubman, but it wasn't taught in the school system. Harriet, she was a villain because she took people to freedom. So she was uh, said to be a thief. And so it wasn't taught in the school system. It's never too late or necessarily too early to begin to look for pieces of our past and to learn from where we've been. It's really important because we know, need to know our history. We, as African Americans, need to know our history because our history is so important. This is Inside Edition Digital.